Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. says Javante Davis will knock out Ryan Garcia, and he calls Ryan Garcia's last fight puro bullsh. That's what I want to talk about in this video. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you come in and smash the like button. In fact, SLC. Subscribe, like, and comment. Now, I watched the interview Fight Hub TV had. The link is in the description. And Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. says that he believes Gervonta Davis will knock out Ryan Garcia. And he slammed and said, you know, basically he wasn't a fan of the Fortuna fight, Ryan's last fight. He said he wasn't even going to spend time because they asked him, they said, did you watch Ryan Garcia's fight? His last fight, obviously last week. He knocked out Javier Fortuna and Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. being a no-nonsense guy. He says, no, I don't watch bullshit. Those are his words exactly. So, wow. Now, I know this is going to make old media very, very, very mad because you have a Mexican legend, Leyenda, out of Mexico, widely respected, widely celebrated and accomplished Julio Cesar Chavez duck nobody you know fought the the from Costa Zoo to Oscar De La Hoya Ryan Garcia's promoter fought him twice fought against the late great Roger Black Mamba Mayweather that was classic fights that he had with him Hector Camacho and the list goes on and on Frankie Randall you know, and Chavez fought all these people. He is a legend in the game and he's believing like based on his boxing IQ and, you know, just everything he's brought to the game and done for the game. He's believing that Javante Davis will knock out Ryan Garcia. That's specifically what he said in this interview. Again, you guys can watch it. The question was, if Ryan fights Javante Davis, what happens? And Chavez said, it's going to go very bad for him. Gervonta, I've seen him fight, but I haven't really analyzed him, but he's a hell of a fighter with all respect. So he says, respect though. He's so basically from what I interpret, he's basically saying that he's watched tank. He hasn't studied him in like excess detail, but from what he's seen is going to be very bad for Ryan Garcia. He says, I think he's going to knock out Ryan Garcia end quote. And, you know, I know old media is going to feel the type of way because that's not what they're going to want to hear. Because a lot of the the racist fans, they're going to be like, oh, because, you know, what I mean, are you going to turn on Chavez senior because he's saying this? We'll see. We'll see in the comment section, because that's what seems to be the case. When you open your mouth with an opinion, people find all these reasons and things like that. So, you know, hopefully they two fight Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis. I need to see it based on the fact that Ryan's talking so much. He was on the SB saying he's going to knock out Tank Davis. And I also agree with what Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. is saying. I think Tank Davis is the favorite. I think Tank Davis will knock out Ryan Garcia when they fight. You know, ultimately, once they lace him up, we'll get to see what it is and what it ain't. In the last 30 days, I looked at my YouTube analytics and it showed me something. It said 50% of the people that watched my content on YouTube for free subscribed. So thank you. The other 50% of the people that watch my content for free on YouTube, you did not. This is your warning. Subscribe, like, and comment. SLC. This is how I continue to grow the channel organically from the ground up. So if you like boxing, this will help reach one teach one help us spread the word for other potential boxing fans so they get the same information that you're getting throughout this video ryan garcia i think he's a, a talented fighter you know still has a lot to prove young he can grow but if he were to fight javante davis i believe experience definitely plays a huge part of boxing and ryan has no experience that leads me to believe that he will beat Gervonta Davis because you got to understand I'm from the old school I don't really care about people screaming and yelling and what people are saying because we've seen that before like Jesse Vargas's last fight Jesse Vargas he was fighting Liam Smith and there's this video that made a couple of rounds 
and they were doing the face off and then liam smith looked and wasn't really saying much and jesse vargas was like shut the up yeah yeah you scared and he was just talking crazy to liam smith and the very next day he fought liam smith and jesse vargas was stopped he started getting tired and he got stopped in that particular fight so you know that's one out of a million examples of boxing trash talk going wrong where somebody trash talks i remember ricardo mayorga is another one that sticks out for me ricardo mayorga he was saying oscar de la hoya ryan garcia's promoter he was saying oscar plays with dolls and wears dresses or you know something to this effect he was basically saying he was a sissy and you know oscar is not a man's man like me but oscar knocked out ricardo mayorga so when trash talk goes wrong all we've seen from ryan is this obsession with Gervonta Davis, constantly mentioning Gervonta Davis's name, berating him, making it like they have this bad blood. But the thing that looks bad is they had an opportunity to spar where they agreed on social media and it was Ryan's side that actually backed out and said, hey, no sparring. We're going to, you know, got in the way and like would not authorize this sparring to go down. You could look it up. I remember in real time when it happened, I recorded videos and reported about it that's what happened you know i believe it was eric gomez and he, he went on record and saying that hey we're like no this is nonsense no sparring blah 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 so since that point it's just really been mostly ryan garcia talking about tank davis so to see a mexican legend like chavez senior and he doesn't have the same belief or faith that ryan garcia can get the job done and he said he's rocking with Javante Davis shout out to all the legends out of Mexico when I told you Mexico is a different place there's a lot of Mexico respects boxing the the issue here is sometimes you got Chicanos who never grew up in Mexico and aren't like originally like them themselves from Mexico some of them which don't speak Spanish like Ryan Garcia and you'll see some of the Chicanos caping for Ryan Garcia. And then you ask the Mexican legends and, you know, you go to a show like ESPN Deportes, Elos Gopez, and listen to Chavez Sr. talk boxing, listen to Marco Antonio Barrera, David Fatelson, and they'll really keep it real despite what your race is, dis despite your national origin, you know, despite being proud and you know prideful of where they come from and heritage they'll just talk boxing and that's the beauty of boxing and that's what it should be about and it doesn't matter where you're from if you can fight you can fight but there's a lot of people that they're race fans and they look at a situation like ryan garcia versus tank davis and they're betting with their hearts more than with their smarts they're not betting based on what they truly think what happened that's why you see all this crazy talk on youtube and in comment sections and when ryan calls out tank and the raw raw stuff you'll see people say yeah get him kick his butt blah 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 and a lot of it is wishful thinking and the reason i know is because every single time you have a fight with a black fighter and a non-black fighter you see this type of you know banter in the comment section and then you look at the betting lines and all that rah 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 activity and ryan's gonna destroy him and 187 and murder and you know these sediments all of a sudden you don't see that in the sports book meaning people aren't putting their coin together and putting money up to bet like they're commenting that's why you can't really it's not you can't go to a boxing forum or youtube comments even and expect truth from some people because they got a lot of emotion or you know some of them are racist etc and they're not betting with their their smarts they're betting with their hearts and that's just the reality of it like show me show me you believe ryan garcia is gonna beat tank and you don't agree with me you don't agree with chavez senior the best way to show that bet big money so make tank the underdog right and if Tank is the underdog, then I'm going to bet money on, on him because he's going to be like a 50 to 1 underdog. But we know that won't happen because a lot of these people, they're just here to talk. They're not going to bet like their like they're comments. Drop your thoughts in the comments section. You heard it from the legend, Boxing Ego, and the legend, Chavez Sr. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, 
to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.